So my husband actually cooked dinner. He just made some hot polishes. And then look, he put my pineapple juice in my fog cup. The one with the red truck with the pumpkins on it. And I just put ketchup and mustard on there. So I didn't have to cook tonight. You guys know I work in a restaurant. And sometimes I don't like cooking. So it's really good and really nice that he cooks sometimes. Hi guys, welcome back to Estella Wilson Creations. I'm glad you guys are here. I'm at my sister's house and she got a new spice rack and she has been working on it. Um, so I'm gonna turn the camera around and then let her explain what she did and also where she purchased it from. So let's let's see, hold on. Okay, <laughs> hi everybody. So basically, um, my house was an older house when I bought it. So I had this really great Lazy Susan where I kept all my spices on and it kind of just turned around within the cabinet. but. It's like spices would just get lost back there and I could never see what I had. Nor things would get so old back there. You know, spices spices actually do go out of date. Who knew? So I was like looking at some um, things on Snapchat and different types of stuff and they came up with these ideas. Like if you have a little extra space on the side of your refrigerator, which most people do. And so mine is kind of wedged between the walkway and there I had like a little space. So I pulled my refrigerator over and I ordered this rack that kind of comes out. And I was able to get all my spices on them and then label them. So, so did the label, where did the, so where did ordered, the spice rack come from? So I ordered the spice rack, of course, from Amazon. I ordered everything off Amazon. I believe it was $29.99. Jill, um, send me a picture of the thing and I'll yep. try to link it in this video. And I got it on Prime. So, you know, it came like in two days and it took like three so seconds. So it picks, it fits, um, big bottles because that's a huge bottle yep. of parsley. So I don't know how many inches that is, it, you know. Yep. And then even the bottom shelf can fit bigger stuff too. So there's a good lot of space. And then I actually bought these labels on Amazon too. And I think those were like $3. And you already owned all these seasonings. So did you find that it was a lot of labels you didn't have? I actually, once or... I got it all organized and done, I only was missing three seasonings. I got some flax seed. Now she is a cook because yes. I don't use some of this stuff. I, I don't even, what is cunnum? Cunning. 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 It's ground coming. I do use that in some of my seasonal dishes and chicken. Actually, when we, this seasoning, I found out when grandma used to make baked chicken, it always had a special taste to it and it was ground coming. I found that out from her one day. So I do use that on my baked chicken when I use it. I also got some flaxseed because my iron's a little low and I'm going to try to incorporate that into my diet. So just a bunch of different things. I love my Spanish adobo, um, living pepper and stuff like that. And I always got to have my Cajun seasoning in my Old Bay. So oh, what is Old Bay? Old Bay is a great Cajun. Asian seasoning you could put it on shrimp on fish basically on any type of a uh, uh, seafood it's amazing uh -huh. but yeah if you're from Louisiana you know all about Old Bay and then what are you doing at the bottom is that just overflow the bottom's just overflow and it's mostly my husband's stuff because he uh -huh. likes to barbecue so he has like some liquid smoke and his barbecue stuff but it's just stuff that I don't really mess with and that's his <laughs> what is um flax seed exactly what is Black seed is like a little bit of, um, I don't know, it's like a seed. It's a seed, and it's but it's high in iron, and it's very good for you. And so I used to, when I was at grandma's house, I would put a little bit on her eggs. That she was used to eating a little flax seed, the more give her a little bit more iron. Mm -hmm. And I heard that that's really good for people who have low iron. So since I have low iron, I'm going to So you put it, it on food, or do you, is that the kind of stuff that you put in shake? You could mix it in a shake, oh. or maybe I'm going to try to hide it in more dense food. Maybe put a little flax seed and stuff. So I'm going to try to hide it out in some stuff and see what it does. But this is my little space rack. And I like it. What's Let me like? know down in the comments, guys, how yes. you guys store your seasoning. I want to know. Mine is just kind of in the cabinet. I'm kind of revamping, trying to figure out what I'm going to do as well. So, But I, I do not have that much seasonings. I kind of go with the basics. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> we are going to do a house tour of her, t or of her house eventually. But she's still um, getting some rooms together, some pieces because of covid had not came in again you guys know that we both remodeled at the same time so uh it, it took her a little bit longer to get some of her pieces in to to see but i'm gonna show you her house eventually so guys as i'm out shopping there's so many items i really wish i could get but i can only have so many pillows so many cups so many great items but i can't be a hoarder and bring everything in my house so i thought i'll show you everything that i found at the stores this for first store is going to be um ross's and then i think we went to costco dollar tree and one item at the end from family dollar so I really hope you enjoy these items. Making our Christmas memories. I've been wrapping presents for you. I've been hanging marbles in the tree. And I've lit my house with Christmas lights. So you 
So here is the last item. It's an item from Family Dollar. It's a coffee time cup. It's so, so um, pretty. I think it'll be great for any coffee lovers. I just have so many mugs. So I ended up getting a different one. If you saw my haul video from Family Dollar, I got the Dream Cup and it's white with speckles. This one's black with white speckles. But that is going to be it for this video. I hope you saw some items out of the store that maybe you can buy. Or if you just wanted to watch this video and spend some time with me. That's going to be it for this video, guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.